Uh, I'm uh, Jan Zanschkowski, and uh, today I'm going to be uh, discussing or showing you how to create a um, our hydraulic uh, pra um, fracturing process for our um, for the project in our group. Um, I'm pretty much assuming that you know how to uh, log into Second Life. Uh, you know how to basically move around. Um, and uh, you know how to get to the city tech islands and you've been granted uh, build permissions there. All of these are required to make um, do everything necessary that will be in this tutorial. <coughs> so to get started you uh, need to find a, um, a space to work. Um, what I'm actually going to do is, uh, I'm going to, um, see, I'm going to find a space, uh, this looks like uh, a good spot here, there's, you know, ground's a little bumpy, but it's going to actually be off the ground. So, the first things first is that you need to, um, to build anything in the game, you just right click somewhere on the ground and you like this is only selectable if you have build permissions in a particular area in Second Life so I've been granted those permissions and I'm able to do this action right here so when you do that this menu pops up here and you can use it to uh, as a basis to make any of the um, different um, objects in Second Life. So to start, uh, to start, I'm going to look at my reference image. This is it, this image here in the center of the screen. And I'm going to use this image as, um, as, a, as a guide to help me um, make the, the 3D image. So I'm going to try to recreate basically this this pipe here, uh, this aquifer, and the the, the gas uh, coming out of the ground here, and also this pole and these tanks right here. So I'm going to try to make all of that, and it's uh, I think it's probably best to work on the inside out. So I'm going to start with the the pipe. At this point, um, because um, as I build stuff around, it'll be harder to get to everything. So, starting with the pipe is what I have to do here. And um, since we're working with a pipe, there's this object here called a tube, or a, it can also be known as a cylinder. And you to get that working. Uh, you just click on that and then uh, click on somewhere in the environment and that'll pop up the object on the ground and uh, now it's on the ground you see these arrows around it and uh, those arrows let you move it around um, and in the properties page uh, uh, like you only see that because this uh, move uh, is selected so I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit uh, because I'm going to change the shape of it um, I'm, I'm going to make it bigger longer uh, just so uh, just because I'm you know I'm not using this shape and all of these properties here let you do that so uh, uh, in my original proof of concept, I did something where uh, you could actually walk into the pipe. So I'm going to uh, make something uh, where you could actually walk into the pipe in this uh, in the simulation. Um, and uh, I found that the best uh, numbers to use that were uh, in the size section here to put all sixes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, 
I guess what makes this uh, when you do this as you can see um, I kind of got my character stuck in there so I'm going to have to reduce the size of it uh, and move back a, a little bit uh, but I'm going to try this again and you can see here I'll be putting that in here and it looks like uh, I'm only concerned with the uh, Y and Z right now and that determines this uh, shape here and so this is the uh, cutout for that and let's say I want to make the walls of the pipe thinner uh, what I do for that is where it says hole size here I just adjust the Y value for that it looks like six is a little bit too big for this particular item so maybe try a three so that looks like uh, it's still pretty big maybe a two so you can still uh, go in here as a uh, as a uh, human avatar. I'm sure if you're a vehicle or a robot it might be a problem but you can switch your avatars at any time uh, and uh, that's that's a basic uh, basic thing that you can do. It's like an option right here on the sidebar. You click one of the options there and you can change your avatar. So as long as you're a human you'll be able to fit in this, uh, this hole here and the other value here was the X value uh, in this case, uh, that'll adjust how long the pipe is. Um, this pipe right here, I'm going to make it the um, that this uh, main pipe here that uh, was extending uh, to this uh, this derrick here and past the aquifer and all the way up to this uh, this bend here. So I'm going to raise that a little bit and with this uh, X size uh, I'm just going to play with different values to uh, and I can see it in the game here right away as I do it um, it appears why did it do that Let's see. let's try five Oh, okay. For some reason, a top shear was indicated, and that makes it curve like this. So I'm going to reset that to zero. Uh, I'm not sure why that was not uh, that didn't start at zero, but anyway, uh, let's see. Ten is purposes of this diagram. I guess. 10 could be the distance from the, the top soil to the aquifer. So I guess I'll make this like a 20. And I'm probably going to have to rise it off the ground because it's probably going into the ground a little bit. So there we go. That's a really long piece. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll, um, I'll move this over here a little bit because I'm trying to make it like this thing and I don't want to put it on top of something else. So I'll move this up just a little bit more. And I'm just I'm just clicking on the object and just dragging his, these arrows right here to move it around. And these the different color arrows, you can see they correspond with the these lines in the uh, the 3D space and that's how you're able to move it like that so there's all these different options but for because uh, this is my first piece I'm not going to play around with it too much it's, it's just to uh, serve as uh, the first piece in the model here um, so the next thing I have to do is um, is the this bend here for the um, 
for the pipe. Um, to do that, uh, you need to go back to the swans and you want to select uh, this shape right oh, no actually it's this shape right here on the lower left it's called a Taurus um, and just click somewhere down there and as you can see it's once again a small shape like the, the other one was and um, to like it kind of looks uh, weird now um, but uh, I'm gonna make it a little bigger so you can see what I mean it, it does kind of look weird uh, let's see this was 2 by 2 so let's make this also 2 by 2 it's still not quite as big but um, let's see let's try 6 not quite uh, Okay, two by two. All right, well, anyway, it has a flat shape at this point, and to uh, make it um, make it even, let's see, we want to have a uh, like this is going to be the bend. Um, see, I forgot how to make it even. But for the time being, I'm just going to adjust this path cut option here, and that will uh, you can make it into a elbow piece like so. So it's uh, zero to twenty-five. So uh, it occupies twenty-five percent, and as you can see, that kind of looks like an elbow, but it's kind of off still. Um, it's definitely not big enough. Uh, I guess let's try two here. So it kind of looks weird, but there's an option here to. Uh, like you there's no hole for example so we need to hollow it out so this hollow option does that and let's see is 95 too much let's compare it to this thing right here so maybe a little bit too much so let's try a 90 for that okay so that looks more like that and it's still kind of uh, the size is kind of off and it's not round so uh, to make it round uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an option here um, let's see it's a top shear no it was there was taper So if you set both the Y and the uh, the X to um, if you set up the you can adjust these values here. Um, it really depends on the shape of it, as you can see. I'm manipulating here, um, so I'm adjusting this here. And that appears to be only affecting one side, so that's not the correct option to use. Hmm. Now, one's a profile cut. Was it top shear? No. It was whole size that does it. So I just set the whole size, the Y value, to um, to 0.5, and now it's looking like a uh, like it might fit. 
Uh, the other thing is that we're going to want to align it to this. And uh, I'll, I'll try to move it next to it and then align it. But this is obviously in the wrong rotation. So you, uh, the values here in degrees, you can set the rotation. So I'm going to zero that out. So the Y axis adjusted it like that. Let's try the X axis. So that turned around like so. Uh, try 180. Okay, that looks good. The Z axis, let's see if that will rotate it. Yep, that did it. So there's our bend here. And it's still kind of off. Let's see what we can do to it. Uh, we definitely want to increase the size of it. So that did a little bit. I'll try a Ford now. Okay, that looks like it could fit on there. So I'll just move it right next to it and try to make it as flush as possible by just manipulating it in 3D space like so. It looks like someone else is floating around. All right, so I'm doing this. Trying to make it look as even as possible here. I guess the only thing is that you're going to be able to drop into here, but you're not going to be able to walk in. But uh, to this part, but that's okay. Um, we'll just uh, leave it that way as it is. I, like it's it's not supposed to be too big the pipe anyway I mean I want to keep it as realistic as possible at the same time all right so that looks like it fits good on this side and also on this side and now I'm going to want to join these two parts together so I'm shift clicking them and to link them it's I think it's control L and you can see now that the stuff that was just grayed out a second ago is is now showing and if I click away and I click on this and it selects everything at once because now these items are linked together and I can move them in the space and they'll all move together now that's why I wanted to try to make that bend as even as possible um, now the uh, the next part will be this long part. Um, so I'll, I want to create another of these uh, tubes. And it's going to have to have uh, similar values to this guy here. Probably match the length. Uh, so that was 2 and 2 here. And we used 20. 20 here. And let's see, we made the hole bigger, so the Y is decreased in this. And now we want we want to make it a, a uh, horizontal pipe. So just like we were rotating that bend, we're uh, going to uh, be rotating this. So we'll set that like so. I set the, the Y to 0 and it looks like uh, in the perfect rotation so now I just need to align it to uh, this uh, these other pieces right now so I'm going to uh, move it around in the space to do that uh, just move it here and I'm trying to make it as even as possible because I'm also going to link this item Okay, that looks good on this side. And it looks like it could be a little closer here. And maybe 
be a little lower. Nope. Let's move it back up one. Perfect. Alright, so there's it's not absolutely perfect, but it's close enough. So I'm going to shift click these items now and press control L again. And now this is all one item. And the last thing t for this pipe uh, is that um, uh, I guess there's a round piece here on the end. And for that, I'm going to um, for that I'll, I'm going to uh, make a uh, sphere. That's this icon here, and we're just going to uh, we're going to cut it out just like we did for that bend. And I'm going to make it ca cap th that uh, that the end of that pipe. So, I'm going to move it fairly close. Let's see if the same size as before, two and two. Uh, well, let's try two here. Looks good. And... So, it looks like it could cover, and I could leave it like that, but it doesn't look that cool so uh, I definitely want hollow like before and I'm doing this path cut again here and as you can see it's opening up like so and I just want it to be half cut so I want to put 0.5 here and I'll have this half cut here and now I can align the piece to uh, to make it cap here and uh, link it up with everything. So I'm going to do that here. Like so. And that looks good here. That's a little off there. So move it here. Okay, and just a little bit here. And that looks like a cap. And now shift click both items here, control L, and now they're all one piece. And let's see. Now I'm going to add some details to this piece because right now it just looks like a piece of crap. So, um,. I'm going to click my item and I'm going to select the texture for it from the library. Um, I'm going to select the tex various textures that are available from the, uh, these are all publicly available, everyone has them on their character. And under, well not buildings, but uh, since the, the um, the sides of this are supposed to be sand. I'm going to select the uh, sand texture for this. So library, texture, dirt, sand, and ground, sand. And that is sand right there. Still looks kind of crappy, but we can, uh, we can adjust the texture some more. Um, what we d can do here is uh, we can um, change how many uh, we can change this value here repeats per face and that will make it use more of that texture and as you can see that when I increase this value the, um, the, the sand gets more granulated so let's try a, a 10 for this case so it looks yeah, that looks good. And, well, looks like lines to me, so maybe too much. Let's try a five. Five is still a little bit too much. 
may be 2.5. All right, that looks okay. It still looks like shit in my eyes, but that's fine. Um, the other thing that I like to do is add a bumpiness, and you have different uh, bumpiness options here. And for sand, I think the gravel one looks good. So, and now this has a nice texture to it. Still not looking quite like sand though. Let's change that. Didn't do anything as you can see. Uh, oh, there we go. You have to do both uh, the U and the V. So that's why everything appeared stretched out. So, uh, I guess let's try five and five. I uh, wonder how ten and ten looks. Yeah, that looks really good. No longer looks like crap. <laughs> All right, so since we're working from inside out, we're now going to need to do uh, water for this. And uh, to make water, you basically you basically reuse the same shape of, of where you put the water. Uh, because it's, it's basically a, a transparent, uh, it's, it, it, it's not like real water, um, it's just, it just like looks like, uh, has a texture on the top, it moves a little bit, but, you know, I'm not swimming around in it or anything, it's just like anything else that you can just pass through like so. See, my character's not even wet or dripping. So... What I'm going to do is, since the uh, the water is going to occupy this space, um, I'm going to need. Uh, I'm basically going to make a copy of this entire segment here. So, in order to do that, there's a option here. If you right click on it, you can take copy. And that'll add it to your inventory here um, under objects. Uh, I guess I didn't give it a name. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this object here. And I'm going to give this a name here. Let's call it uh, the HF pipe. And I want to make sure that the people in the hydraulic fracturing group can use it. So I'm already a member of this group. And I'm ticking. Uh, share here so everyone in this group can now edit this and let's see so that's that and now we can right click it again take copy and as you could see uh, the, the HF pipe now appears in my inventory under objects so what I need to do now is make another one of these uh, things here and this one has to be slightly smaller because it's going to be inside of that so um, we'll just adjust this value here maybe 1.9 and 1.9 so that made everything a little thinner, and uh, it's it's obviously not sand that goes in; it's it's water. So uh, the way that works is that we pick a texture that looks like water. So under here, you could see waterfalls, and you can pick different ones for that. Let's see. So that looks like really murky water, but I mean it's it's fracking fluid, so uh, it's gonna be murky. Uh, 
we can uh, do the different things we did previously, uh, like uh, adjust these values here. You know, maybe I, I want to have less of these ripples here, so maybe I'll cut this in half and use five and five. So it looks, it, don't, it changes its appearance, but this is going to be the water. Um, the other thing is that since you can kind of see through water, you need to have a transparency. So under the texture, I'm setting this transparency amount. So I'm going to add some of that here. And let's just say 30%. Still a little bit thick. Try 50%. Maybe too much. Okay, 40% as a compromise. And now, the, let's see, bumpiness probably. Let's just set it to none. And the other thing is that since we can actually pass through water. Uh, in the general tab, we, well, not the general, but the object tab, there is a option called Phantom. And when you tick off this option, you can uh, now pass through the object just like you saw earlier with the, uh, with the, uh, the water that's surrounding this island here. So, Getting this inside is simply just moving it inside of it, like so. And now I have water inside my uh, my thing here. Uh, let's see. I guess... What I forgot to do is that this is still hollow inside. And obviously water is at hollow. So, um, and this is grayed out, so I have to temporarily unlink the objects to change how hollow they are. So they're kind of floating in the space now, and I'm going to change, I'm going to click this unlink button, and now all these pieces are separate. And now I can click on each piece individually and set the hollow to zero uh, for each one of these. And for these it's not the hollow but it's the whole size. And we, oops. We want to set the Y value all the way up. Here, Y value all the way up. Here is the hollow again. So it's no longer hollow inside. And now since I want to move all these together again, I want to shift click each item again and control L. Since I did a lot of work to this and in case someone wants to take a copy of it, I'm going to uh, name it and this will be the HF uh, pipe water, I guess. So I'll name that, and uh, you can see that in here. And uh, we will move it into the pipe now. So it's like I'm lagging a bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sometimes the, when you click on things, it doesn't move around, and that means uh, there's some latency, and there's not a lot you can do about it. It's just you've got to wait until it stops, and then you can get back to work. So that can be a minor annoyance with... It can also be a major annoyance, but hopefully it's a minor annoyance for most people. And the goal with this thing is that we want to make it not clip into anything. So looks like it may be slightly too large. 
Oh yeah, it's, it's supposed to be 1.9. It changed because I unlinked it and all of the items have individual things here. So now that's inside there and is it clipping on either side? No, it's not clipping. It is clipping on the bottom just a little bit though. And as you can see, this is not flush here. All right, so now this water is flush inside the pipe. And you can go inside the pipe like so. Inside the pipe. And a big thing here is that we're probably going to want some transparency for this pipe itself. Uh, the other thing I was thinking that I could do is make like a, a split. Um, so to do that, I have to take the, the HF pipe again and unlink that. And now we want, to, I'm just going to adjust the long sections here. And we're going to do this path cut again to do a cutaway. See that kind of goes on top there and only covers one thing. So that's why you can adjust these both. You can change the beginning. And apparently can't set it as a negative. So let's set that to 0.5 and we might need to rotate it. So let's try 90. Let's try 180. 270. Okay, there's 270. So now you can see inside this pipe. Um, I'm also going to do it. Let's see, this is still a little off. Maybe I'll reduce the size by another point one. So I don't want it to appear leaking out on the side. Hmm, it's still leaking out. bend and nowhere else I guess that's not too bad but anyway you can see the water here it's inside and it's coming out just a little bit so we want it the one thing before it comes out all right and just make sure the back is not coming out all right, and another place I'm going to want to do this cutout thing is to this part right here. And that's also this uh, path cut. So let's try 0.5. So it's kind of off here, so it's also going to be neat to rotate. And let's try 90. Nope, this is the wrong one. I'm setting that back to... Ah, send that back to 90. Let's try 270 here. No, 180. Uh, zero. That did absolutely. That 
did something. Uh, let's see, 180 here. Okay, let's try the Y value. Nope, that didn't do it. Hmm, let's see. How about 0.75? Okay, that's more like it. 0.25. So I don't have to worry about those values. You can ignore what I did there. Uh, so we have a cutout. We can see uh, this. I, the uh, other thing is that there's really nothing going on with this water. So we want it. We want the water to kind of move. So I'm just going to make sure that's the HF pipe water selected. And to make uh, scripts, you just um, you just add them. You can uh, right click new script and you can find different scripts online. This is one I found for uh, water. And once you have a script and you made it, you just drag it into here and it starts going. Hmm, so that did that part. But it didn't do to others. So maybe we have to unlink that as well. It's not quite going the direction we need, so what you do is you need to adjust these values here. I'm going to try a 0.5 there and see what it does. So you can see the water kind of moving. Um, it's rotating, I guess. But you get the idea. Um, and I'm going to try changing these values because I'm curious if I can change the direction of it. So, Animon is the mode, side is, all of these are the modes, these first three parameters, side is all sides, oops, the X frames and Y frames, it's Y. Let's start.
so you don't edit the uh, the thing here. What you do is you go on the texture, and you have to rotate the texture like so. So we want, I guess, so. we want negative 180, but that's the wrong direction. So let's try. Let's try 90. 360. There we go. 360 is going in the proper direction. And this is also uh, going. So, what we need here is uh, the rotation needs to change. Let's see, 180, wrong direction. 360 again, right direction. So now our water is going into this, like so. Alright, that's really cool. Uh, let's see. So that's the water part. And we don't need to walk into it because everything's cut out. So the next part here is that I'm going to do the top layer here. So to make the top layer, I'm going to need to build a, uh, a, a flat object. So right click, build. Um, it's going to be a cube. And we're going to adjust this cube up here. And by changing the dimensions of this cube, we're going to have uh, we're going to have a flat surface. So let's see size. Let's make it ten on the x, and let's see ten on the y, and that's a nice flat uh, brick, uh, brick here. It's a little small though. So let's try uh, 20 by 20. And uh, we kind of want a, uh, we want to be able to fit this over the hole that's there. So there's a hollow function here that you can set that and you can change the shape to a circle here. So let's try a 10 for now and see if that 10 will fit over our hole. So I'm going to adjust this item here to, uh, to be over the item like so. So now that's there, getting closer. There we go, fits nicely. we could make this longer. Let's see, 30. No, not wider, but longer. We can even make this less. Well, we want it to be, uh, we'll have to just adjust this, but I would like to make this longer here. So it extends the full length maybe uh, 50. There we go. That's plenty. And this this uh, shape is kind of off. So we're going to have to adjust it. And it's not the taper option. It...
Hmm. It does appear to be an option here, so we're just going to have to make this item 50 by 50. Nope, that's way too big, that hole. So hollow is going to be a lesser value. But actually, do we need it to be that large? No, not really. Let's change it back to 20 by 20. Because I want to add another one next, another uh, panel like this next to a. Uh, it's, yeah, that'll. I'm making it pass through a little bit so you can see it on the top here. I fell in. <laughs> so now you can see uh, in here. And the hole is too narrow. There we go. 10 by 10. Perfect. So that's the surface here. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to want another um, another block like this, but uh, for the time being, let's see, we need to add some details to this. So let's try a texture, library, textures, building, and we'll use concrete, and let's try, I think 10 by 10 works great for amount of texture used so you can see like the kind of slabs here add some bumpiness like no that doesn't look good here concrete there we go that looks like concrete all right so this is going to be the HF uh, surface one, because we're going to make one more. Um, and obviously, I want to share that. Let's see. So I'll take a, another copy of that and put it up here. And this one doesn't have a hole, but that's good, because we're going to make a different kind of hole to uh, put in the uh, to put in the the pit we need to make to put in the the fracking fluid and there's plenty of space in between here to put uh, or in between anywhere to put in the uh, different um, the other doodads that are necessary So we just need to align everything here. It appears that this is a little bit too high. Okay, that looks good. And now we want to adjust the size of this hole. Um, we selected a uh, circle before, but let's go back to square because uh, the, the reference diagram kind of has a square shape on the top and uh, let's see both of these sections are kind of thin so I'm going to make them thicker by changing the Z that was supposed to make it thicker okay that didn't make it thicker for some reason size let's see okay let's change that back to one all right never mind so I'll just do a cube underneath this to be like a dirt kind of thing and this hollow 
that shape was kind of big uh, here. Yeah, really big, so 50 would do nicely. And it looks like this could come down just a little bit. Nice. So this is going to be where we put in the uh, the, the uh, thing here. Um, the the flow back water uh, pit, and now we want to have like a uh, a dirt layer. So to do that, I'm just going to. Uh, Take this, I'm going to name it HF Surface 2. And let's take a copy of this. And let's put another one here. Because so we're going to make like a. We're going to turn this into the dirt. Not sure why that's not making the cube bigger. All right, I'm just instead of doing that, since that's not functioning properly, I'll just create another uh, another cube. We'll, we'll match the size here, 10 by 10. What you're supposed to be able to do is, yeah, see, now I'm adjusting that here and that's doing it properly. We don't need it that thick. Uh, I guess half that thickness would be good. Yeah, that's plenty. And these are actually 20 by 20. So let's make this 20 by 20. And that one has a circle hole 10 hollow. And since this is going to be dirt, we're changing the texture. Library, textures, dirt and sound. There we go. And 10 by 10. Looks good. Bumpiness. Let's see. Oh, that looks terrible. Bark. Uh, da, da, da. Stucco. Yeah, that looks good. And. We want this to be um, something that you can go through. So it's going to be phantom. And the other thing that needs to happen is that we want to see through the item. So the transparency, I'll set that up to 50. So you can see through it. And now we'll just align this up. underneath this guy. And I haven't used this yet, but sometimes you would like to have a top-down view. So you go to camera controls and you can select the options here and just make it top-down like so. And you could also adjust the position so maybe you don't want your avatar in the way. So now I can I can see and I can at least align it this way and just drag it in there like so. Cool. It looks like it's maybe a little bit too high. So pull it down. Cool. So 
that's our dirt layer. It's still a little bit too thick though, so I'm going to have to adjust it some more. I guess uh, maybe a 2.5. Yeah, it all looks good. So let's move that up. There we go. Okay, so there's our dirt layer. And we'll call this HF. take a copy of that because we need to put uh, we need to put this uh, next to that and we'll just copy the parameters for for that to make to put in the square hole here Actually, there's going to have to be done with some extra detail because I need to put in, uh, uh, I guess, a little base in here. So that, let's see, instead of doing that, why can't I adjust this? Maybe if I make this less and this less, I can increase this. No. That's, that's stupid. Yeah, I guess it's not perfect, so uh, <laughs> I guess that might be a, a glitch or a bug in Second Life that, um, that I can... Uh, manipulate that value for for one thing but not another but our soil is not going to be so thick underneath underneath this because we need the uh, the little basin here so let's start out by making like a small catch for it so that'll be uh, another cube that we put in here. I'll bring this guy up. And I guess, let's see. I wonder if we can match the size of the hollow. Probably not. Let's make this 10 by 10. thick but it's pretty close This is going to be also a hollow, but not quite like that. Let's see, path cut, 
No. No, not that. Maybe slice. No. Uh, probably not twist. Did I select the correct shape here? another one uh, let's see here so we definitely need it hollow and these will be the walls for our little uh, thing and this is also going to be uh, concrete so library Textures, building, concrete. And we'll call it HF pit wall. And what can we do here? Oh, cool. That will work. Taper. So this gives it that shape that we saw in the diagram. The, the, that slanted shape here. Now we just need to create a, uh, a bottom for that, but also we need to take a copy of this because obviously we need to put in water in that. So the difference with water is that it's not hollow. It has some kind of transparency. We used 40% previously. We use a, a texture, the waterfall texture. And so we use one of these. So there's our waterfall texture. And also the object is slightly smaller. So let's try 9.5. Put that in like so. Put the water in. correctly and finally we want to put in our running water script there we go looks cool looks just a little bit off the surface. There we go. So now it looks like a little bit in. And I guess uh, we still need a bottom for it. This is off here. Hey, 
Okay, perfect. No popping. So let's get our Surface 2 back. And what we're going to do is first we're going to place it underneath this thing somewhere. Probably don't need it to be so big. Um, I'm just going to make it 10 by 10. And there's no hollow to it. Maybe let's try another pit wall. We'll put it underneath here, like so. And let's see, move it up. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to have the taper go all the way. Not that way, but the other way. There we go. So that'll cap out this bottom nicely. And I just have to move it into position. Just checking to make sure we didn't uh, we don't have any leaking. It looks like there's still just a little bit of leaking here. Alright, so that's good enough. So now we have our Flowback water basin. Um, we need to create some uh, storage tanks. Um, since we have a lot of space in the middle and I don't want to make it unnecessarily large, I'm just going to put them in between here. And to do that, uh, it's going to be uh, We'll make tubes that you can see into. So let's say, let's make, um, let's try six by six like we did before. Oops, I got myself stuck in. Two. And let's just 
just say a three. Good. So there's one. We'll use a thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I wanted to cut it out. We'll use 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and we'll set the rotation. Not that rotation. have my balls. I'm going to make a, a bowl type shape on top of here uh, with the sphere. So I'll cut out another one. Make it larger. Two by two by two. It's going to be hollow. 90%. And there's going to be a cut. Point two five. Let's see. And point seven five. Point seven five. Huh? And doesn't want to do that. Okay, let's just. Press the buttons here. Okay, zero. Maybe point two five here. Point seven five here. There we go. And we just need to rotate. It's not the rotation I need. Let's try it here. 180, 270. Two seventy. Actually, I'm going to just set this back to one because I this is it's not part of the, the simulation to show um, to uh, to show this like so. So I I, I just linked the two textures together. 
going back into the library, textures, buildings again. Let's see, concrete. And just so it looks a little different, instead of 10 by 10, we'll use 5 by 5. Uh, but still using that bumpiness. And we'll call this the HF uh, storage uh, silo. So I'm going to take a copy of this and make another one since we saw two of them in the reference diagram. And um, I'll put the other one right next to it like so. And I guess one of them was taller. So let's unlink these again. Click something else, click that, and make that longer. What was that? Oh yeah, let's make it just a uh, four. So there we have our two silos, and now, now we have to do, uh, we'll finish the, the ground here. So we have this thing, it's the, uh, did we call this? Yeah, we called it the round soil. out quite nicely that it intersects with that. Um, change the hollow to zero because it changes the um, the color of that water and uh, it's it's obviously different when it comes back up. And now we're going to look up again and select this item and move it some more. Zoom out a bit. Go. And awesome. And just to name it, we'll call it HF. here. Looks like it's just slightly off from this angle. There we go. Perfect. Not close enough. Okay, so now I'd like to do the aquifer. So what's that? That's going to be the water. And to do that, we're also going to use another cube. We'll just make a brand new object here. And it's going to be it's going to be the size of this top thing so 20 but it's going to be the full length so 20 by 40 20 by 40 or maybe 
40 by 20. And let's say 10 here. is way too large so let's say a five five works out nicely since this is water uh, it has the texture it's 40 percent uh, transparent going back into the library we're getting our our famous waterfall texture that one right there and now we're dragging in the script and let's see probably don't need it to be going like yeah that's a good direction for it to go Now let's place it underneath the topsoil here. So yeah, if you diselect something, you have to right click to edit it again. Oh yeah, and I forgot, oh yeah, there's Phantom, okay. Let's say I'm going to make a slight alteration to this and change the speed to be lower. So let's try 0.111, for example. So now you know these are separate sources of water. Um, this is a cutout, just like we see in our diagram. Constantly looking around to make this uh, happen properly. This looks like it could come down just a little bit. And this looks like it's coming out a little bit on that side. So we'll, okay, so we'll take this piece here, we're going to call it the HF Aquifier, because that's exactly what it is. So the next thing um, is that we're going to put the rest of the, the model into soil. And I guess we'll create another box for that. And we'll work on the, the final parts to it. So 
let's see, this is where we're at now. That's how it looks. So what's remaining to do, we're going to fill up this bottom part here. And we're going to put in these, uh, these lines that represent the, uh, the shale fractures uh, that come up to the aquifer. And uh, this, these particles are, are, the, uh, are the gas that, come, that are released from the, uh, the shale. So let's get, let's fill up that soil here. So to make things easier, since I already have a shape, I'm going to take a copy of the aquifer. Uh, and I'm going to put that down. And we don't need, it's not running water. But it's still running. Yeah, once you set something in motion, it stays in motion. So, if we want to make a copy of this, we've got to set the speed to zero. And now we can delete the script. And change the texture. And what we used was dirt fill. Use a greater transparency. And it looks, looks a little different from that. So let's edit this some more. Uh, it's going to obviously be taller because it's basically filling in our whole bottom here. So let's try a 10 here. So will that fill up our bottom? Not quite. Let's try a uh, 15. Too much. OK. 12.5. OK, so that fills in everything. not long enough. Alright, so I'll have to adjust it some more. Um, let's try 13. 14 maybe even. There we go. Does that cover it? Yep. So we have everything in dirt. And let's check the sides again. Yep, looks looks aligned. I 
thinking this aquifer should be going in a different direction. And that's done in the uh, rotation here. Let's try it. See our top layer. We got our dirty flow back water. So now we need to do these uh, red things here. And for that, I was going to use uh, the um, cones. So. to make them tall. So is that Z? Yeah, that was Z. It's 10. are going to be uh, phantom textures. And we're going to need a different one, but I'm still going to go on the waterfall one. Now let's try these different ones. that I'm just going to use the same one as the water. Um, let's see, so water, this one. But I wonder if I can change the color of that to like red, for example. Yep, so I can change it to red. And we're going to add the animation we used before, the running water. And we're going to rotate the texture so it's moving upwards. 180, 270, 270 is going up. These are the uh, the shell fractures, and I have another script here that just moves it up and down, uh, one meter first up and then down every second. So we just add that script here, move up and down. Very cool. 
so. And we'll call this. HF fracture lock because this one has three long ones and three short ones. So we're going to take a copy because we need to add two more here. So let's get into our inventory. And we have our HR fraction long. Maybe for some cool effect, we'll change the event timer, so we'll make that a 2. And we'll make this like a... Yeah, we'll leave that at 1. So now they look kind of staggered. And for our short ones, we're just going to put in some extra ones here. So this is HF Fracture Short. Yeah, for each of these you want to tick share if you had other people working on it. I did that previously. Uh, since I'm the only one that's pretty much doing this entire part here, I haven't been uh, checking that off uh, for sake of time. So this uh, video is pretty, it's running pretty long already. Uh, but uh, anyway. I made that. I want to take a copy here. So I have my short piece here. Editing that. Oops. So 
now we have these particles going in like so. What else do we have? On our image, we had some doodads here on top. told by my group that I don't really have to do that so I'm just going to not put that in um, because there's everything's already being simulated like it should as you can see the, the fractures are coming up with the uh, thing and uh, possibly entering the aquifer only thing left I can think of is putting in like those particles that were there. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what that was. I'm assuming that there are deposits of some sort. So I guess for for this one I have this script here that it's really long and basically it just puts in some particles and uh, I'll, uh, I'll put that in so to get that effect. Let's see. Math error. Oh, there we go. Count. Let's see. H ten. Count. Hundred. I was making a script. There's this page here called particles ssl lsl generator bashor.com. I used this to create this script here. I, I updated it several times, and you can basically put in the different options here. And let's, I'll try changing it there. See if that made a difference. No, didn't do anything. Uh, t -t -t. Let's do explosion zero to one eighty rate. So there's the particles. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not apparent. Let's see if I make the age fifteen, will they go out farther? So back to this thing here. I'll make the age like 20. And I want them to be a different color. So let's try. Let's just make them zero like they were in the, the picture. Looks like 
that doesn't look good. Looks like I figured out how to create smoke. Um, that's probably what this thing is. It's make them like point, point five. thing here is that we don't want them to go to a target. So we have our gas script. We want to edit too far. So make them shorter lived. Let's see. coming out of there a little bit too much. Um, so let's try and this will make the particle life 7.5. Whole life will make it five seconds. And what I'm doing each time I, I, I click this generate script, I control and I go in here, control I control C there, and I go in here, control V, save, and then within a few seconds the, I can see the change happening. Those, those black particles are these little dots here, so that's all done here, and that's the uh, that's the uh, whole thing. I guess I guess that's uh, all I needed to do, really. I could put I 
could add this script so to these other ones. Just copying what I had there and making sure. Well, I don't have to do that. I can just bring this out here like so. And then copy that here and that here. Each of the large ones have one of those particle generators that you can see. So it's not just centered on that one area. So I'm going to upload this to somewhere. I don't know what's going to take it, but uh, yeah, that's that. Let me know if you have any questions.